We're at the Worthington Diamond Discovery Plant here, located just a short distance outside of Southwest Arkansas's famous Crater of Diamond State Park. You're looking at our large trommel scrubber. Uh, Matt put in a lot of large rocks today. They were from the oversized. Um, these are the ones that don't fall through that grate when it spins around. And we're getting an excessive amount of them out of here right now because he put a full ton, two half ton scoops in there this morning that had piled up here yesterday. And we want to rerun it because this, although that's a hard volcanic rock, it is crumbly. And when it rolls around with others in that, they will break down and then fall through. But not all of it does. Some of it's stubborn. This is the last day we're going to run this season, probably till May of next year. And this stuff will just sit out here all winter and weather. And uh, it'll get wet and freeze and break apart. And next year we'll scoop it up and run it through and see if any diamonds have been hiding in those chunks. Uh, so after Max feeds it in that hopper up there, it rolls around in the main scrubber and the stuff that falls through that coarse grate drops down into this chute with water because see we're, we're pumping water up there through that hose. So water and ore wash around in that giant uh, tumbling washing machine. And then it goes down to this smaller scrubber and it rolls around in here for a while. Let me show you though. Uh, the flurry that's coming down that is just mud and gravel and diamonds and all that. So it rolls around in this smaller scrubber and then the smaller material drops through here and goes across these two jigs that are pulsing up and down. And the heavy material is caught in these one foot square screens that are about two inches deep. I've got a set of two. Whatever is not caught in this, will be caught in this. And the same story when you come over here to the larger material, it drops down here. You dig like-sized material together and it goes in this jig and then in this jig and the light material all washes away down this drainage pipe and to our settling pond where the water is recycled and reused. I wanted to show you one thing. We have a leak here. See the water coming out? Well, this tire is getting old. Uh, see it's kind of cracking along here, cracking along there. Well, when this equipment was shipped here from South Africa, they sent some spares, and among them were four of these rubber tires for replacing that because they knew eventually this is going to crack and wear out. Now, this is the last day we're running today, so I'm not going to replace it right now. I'm going to let this old one sit out in the winter weather, and then in the spring, before we start up running again, I'm going to take all these bolts apart, take this apart, pull it out, replace these tires. Tires. I think the ones on the other side are still good. We've got two tires back there. But uh, I'm glad the ones I got to replace are on this side. <laughs> They're easier to get to. But uh, anyway, Mac will soon be back with another load of ore and run through the plant. So things are going good here on our last mining day of the 2023 diamond mining season because it's going to get wet and cold. And uh, we don't like working in those conditions.